Hey everybody, Dunskill here. Hope you're doing good. In today's video, I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of my recording process. I'm currently working on new tracks for my band Hello Companion, and I'm going to be tracking some stuff at home to later be brought into the studio to be reamped. So right now I'm just creating a new project here in Logic, and I'm going to import some files that I can play along to. I just have to line them up with the click. I'm going to be recording my clean direct signal as well as just a, you know, a secondary signal that has some effects on it just so I can still feel and hear the sound of the effects as I play and record my dry signal. Stick around. All right, folks. So what I'm doing here is just creating an empty project here. And it's just asking me for some parameters about my audio inputs. Now, I will go through my signal path uh, uh, in a little bit here. Now, my uh, dry signal is going into, let me see here, number one, two, three, four, audio input. And we're just going to create that. It's one. I'm starting with a track called Wounder. I know the BPM here is 93. Now, I don't know if you guys can hear in the background, I've got dogs barking. The best part of recording at home with this direct method is I don't have to worry about miking or anything like that. So I've set my master tempo to 93, and I'm going to import the wave file here. It's just as easy as clicking it and dragging it over. Just putting it right to zero. And oh, yeah, it's asking me to change the project sample rate. Yep. So there's my working demo here on the top line. Hopefully you guys can kind of see it. And I have two tracks set up, one for my dry signal and one for my affected signal. And basically from here, I just hit the record and uh, actually I'm just going to see if the clicks all line up here. Let's just see. Yep, and the clicks line up. So I'm ready to go. I'll just show you guys basically now what my uh, signal chain looks like here. And it's pr pretty straightforward and simple. So basically my signal chain starts with the guitar through this orange cable into this device here which is an ABY splitter so my input is right here and that's where my guitar goes in output B right now there's a patch patch cable right there that you can see that runs right up into my interface there which is hooked up to my computer there and this other line is basically running out into you know my little effects array today I'm using the HX effects just to get my sounds again I'm not gonna uh, record with these final tones. We're going into the studio to do some reamping and get some really elaborate uh, captures there. But uh, this is just for now. And basically, my HX effects goes into my uh, Orange Custom Shop 50, which I'm just using again, just for you know, just for laughs. Through an aux, and that aux is again in turn connected all the way down here back over to my interface and into the computer. So there you have it folks, that's pretty much my signal chain. Uh, I'm really looking forward to starting this recording process. I think it's going to work well because you're playing with effects and, and through an amp and therefore capturing that feel and that tone, but you're also recording a clean dry signal that you can use uh, at a studio or elsewhere to really dial in your tone and get a real proper capture in a studio environment. So that's the advantage I'm hoping to realize. No playing in this video, guys, sorry, but stay tuned for the next one as I kind of document the process of recording these tracks and how they come together. Uh, there'll be more footage coming from B-Town Sound, which is where we've been recording. And thanks to Justin and the folks over there for helping us get this next set of songs ready to rock. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care from the Hello Companion camp. Stay safe.